Well, I figured I'd get back on here. And it's a simple question. How many of you watch YouTube? <laughs> well, obviously you're watching right now. Kind of a trick question, wasn't it? Anyhow. How many of you watch cops, law enforcement? Doesn't matter sheriff. Doesn't matter, you know, local police. Doesn't matter. But how many of you watch them? And then all of a sudden, what do they do? They get on there. And they start harassing somebody. They pull them over. You have these uh, First Amendment audit guys out there. And they're deliberately doing this stuff. Some, some of them are dicks. A lot of these cops are dicks. Some of them are very well. Some of them present themselves very well. Not very often, but some of them do. And that's the ones you want. See, that's what I'm talking about. These are the cops you want. You want the good ones. Not the cop that gets argumentative and gets pissy because you didn't follow his lawful order, his lawful command. You slave. You, you dog. You know? And in, in, when they read you your Miranda rights, right in, the, right in the Miranda rights, the question is answered for them. You have the right to remain silent. You don't have to answer the questions. When he walks up to the car, you got a driver's license? You got ID? Hey, I'm talking to you, boy. You got, all, you got ID? Well, first of all, he didn't tell you why the hell you're pulled over. He didn't say, hey, uh, I caught you doing, you know, uh, you know, 40 and a 25. Uh, you got a headlight out. Nothing. He just comes up to the car and asks you things. Now, if he said, hey, the uh, reason I pulled you over, gives you a reason. Ask you for your identification. Another story. Then you can hand it to him. If he asks you any questions, you don't have to answer them. Why? It's right in his Miranda rights. It's right here in his pocket. A little card he carries around so he can read you your Miranda rights. But you're supposed to answer him. And if you've noticed, things are getting worse and worse. Why? These cops are getting younger and younger. The old guys, like me, retiring. Then, you end up with some little, little snot nose on there that, man, oh, his whole life, he's been babied and coddled and, and never, never held to any expectations. And he comes out, and uh, everything is instant gratification. He is entitled. Uh, he wants uh, your identification. Oh, you better give me. He's gonna bust your window in. He's gonna do this to you. He's gonna do that to you. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna do. He make, starts making threats. He turns into a bully right away. He's violating every right you have. And I said it in another video, he, he violated his oath of office. Now he says, well, you know, he has, he has occupational immunity. Okay. You have it too. Everybody has it. Why? We have a constitution. You got a bill of rights. You have immunity also. You have a lot of immunities, more than he does. And I always love it when they say, what's your name? What do you identify with today? I don't know. Maybe you identify as uh, Bowling Call. My name's Bowling Call. Oh, you're lying to me. You can't lie to an officer. Well, I identify as Bullwinkle today. But he walks up to you and says, what's your name? You say, asshole. Well, I identify as asshole today. Matter of fact, lots of people call me asshole. <laughs> you know. You know, I mean, it depends who you're talking to. Some people call you different names. Your dad might call you son. Your mom might call you son. Or daughter, you know, it depends. You know, some come up to you, hey brother. Hey dude. Your name changes all the time, see? They know, your friends know your names, but now they might have a nickname for you. Cop says, what's your name? Well, I don't know 
know if it's a true story or not, but that uh, Ron White, he was telling a story one time about a guy who just lived down the street. They knew him, went to school with the guy and everything. And I don't know, he got in some fight or something like that. And they asked him what his name was. He said, Tater Salad. Well, of course his name's not Tater Salad, but that's what they put in there, Tater Salad. <laughs> it's like, all right. Cop says, oh, you're lying to me. It's like, I'm not lying to you. People call me different things depending on the person. Yeah, you can just call me sir. How's that? What's your name? Sir. It's like, sir, we'll do fine. You say, oh, you have to ID. I, I just did. I told you who I was. I, I'm sir. Uh, it's always interesting how they want to always push the envelope because they have to have that instant instr gratification because that's what they've had their whole life. They've never had anyone say no to them and then they get pissy about that. You're going to do what I tell you to do because that, every video game I've played since I was five years old has always went my way. You know, I always killed it. I always get the bad guy. You know, I always... You know, I come back to life 20,000 times, blah, blah, blah. You know, I always find that interesting. And they want to ask you if you're a lawyer or you're this or you're that. Well, first of all, you have to ask them, are you a lawyer? You know, they, they say, oh, you can't stand here. You can't, can't do this. You can't do that. Look at them and say, are you a lawyer? I've done this a thousand times, and I said, then when they go back and actually call the city council, uh, you know, I'm talking city attorney, whatever, city attorney comes back and says, leave the guy alone. He can do what he wants. They leave him alone. But he's done it a thousand times. In other words, he's violated someone's rights a thousand times. Say, so, that's the other way you look at it. He said, when he walks away and says, you can stay here as long as you like, you look at him, so you violated thousands of people's rights. Because you've done this a thousand times. They don't want to talk about that. Why? Because they're hypocrites. And they're not that smart. So, all I'm getting at in this, is, in this particular little vid is, remember who you are. You're it. God's the ultimate. I mean, that's that's a given. He's 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 God. He he's the creator. He's everything. Then it's you. You're Caesar. You form this government. You allow this government to operate. You allow everything. You got a bad local government run for run, run for some stupid office. Maybe get four or five guys, like-minded guys and women and stuff, to run for office. Maybe get maybe, maybe get 20 or 30 people to run for office. The votes are all so screwed up and split up and this and that stuff. They really, somebody wins by such a small margin that it's like, you know, the incumbent, you know, they're like, oh, I lost. It's like, well, yeah, it's because they had 20 other people to choose from. Say. And when the, when the police sit there and say, well, our policy is, that means absolutely nothing to you. Policy means nothing to you, okay? You don't work for them. Policy is, is when employee does what employer wants. Dress codes and code of conduct and things such as that. So... Your policy means nothing to everyone else. And I love it. You're a civilian. You're a civilian. I am. I didn't know I was in the fucking... I didn't, I didn't know you were in the military, son. Yeah. Oh, you're in the military. Well, the military ain't the police, see? You, you got it all wrong here, see? Oh, you're paramilitary. Well, that's that's all wrong too. See, 
See, I don't know who's, who's teaching these sick son of a bitches anything, because they're not teaching them. They're just telling them to go out there, bark orders, and tell these little peons what they're going to do. Really? It's always interesting. Always interesting. They don't have the right. They never did. They just claim the right. You need to claim the right and claim it back. Get yourself selected on local councils, local county boards, local school boards. The whole night you need to get out there in masses and masses and masses. And don't sit back and go, oh, Joe down the street's running for office. Well, I'm going to run too. Joe might go, oh, you're running too? I said, yeah. Well, don't, oh, no, don't, don't, don't drop out, Joe. I want you to run. I want 10 more people to run. I want 20 more people to run because we can skew this vote enough that they won't get back in. You might be like, well, yeah, might, might have a good, you know, it's okay strategy. So, folks, if you could get in at the local level, They'll try to tell you, you can run for coroner. Well, you're not qualified. Where does it say I have to be a qualified public office? Sheriff, who says I had to have any law enforcement experience whatsoever, been to any academy or whatever? Who, 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 what says that? How about President of the United States? How about Congressman? Certain age have to be born here. Okay, that's it. And you can get the dumbest people in the world in there. That's what I'm talking about. We have a bunch of rum dumps. And they're younger and younger and younger, and they haven't figured anything out yet because their whole life's been hidden in mom and dad's basement in their bedroom, playing on video games since they were just little shits and uh, instant gratification and you're going to send those little psychopaths out to do what police people man you got problems you got real problems they're, they're not qualified mentally qualified they're not most of the people out there in those positions they're not mentally qualified anyways i ran it enough you folks have a good one like you keep saying pray for these people Besides running against them and, 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 and so on and so forth, pray for them. Hopefully God will intervene. And these people will come to the light and see their, their evil doings. See, God doesn't care about your position. God doesn't care about all that stuff. Because when you were born, where were, oh, were you? Just a little infant. When you die, what are you? Right, exactly. You're not Mr. Cop. You're not Mr. Mayor. You're not President of the United States. You're not the former president. You're, no, you're not former nothing. You're just... You're dead. Christ will go, eh, good job, well done, or eh, I don't know you. That's about it. So... I'm rooting for you guys. See, just take care. And, and keep it tight, you know, just... It seems like you can't back down from these people. Oh, they'll be nice and they'll promise you this and they'll promise you that and you won't see it. Because they're men, evil and wicked. Unlike God, which is the opposite. Y'all take care.